Hello everybody, how's it going? It's me, Krendor, and welcome back to Krendor Talks in front of a shitty green screen application. Today we're in Pandaria, because I thought this picture looked cool, so I thought we'd go to Pandaria. I like Pandaria a lot, it's very like chill and zen and relaxing, so I was like, hey, why not, uh, why not make that the background <laughs> for the start of this video? Um, so I kind of wanted to talk today about being a YouTuber versus being a Twitch streamer and kind of the pros and cons of both. So I always hear people go like, would you rather be a YouTuber? Would you rather be a YouTuber? Would you rather be a YouTuber or a streamer? Uh, what's easiest to grow on? And kind of, you know, the, the positives and the negatives of both sides. Um, of course, you could always say, you know, uh, people are like, oh, well, uh, you gotta, you gotta diversify. You gotta be on everything, right? And I, you know, that's obviously the case, but you tend to have a main platform. All right, that's what it, it's, it boils down to. Most people have a primary platform. Uh, for example, a lot of Twitch streamers have YouTube channels, but they're just highlight channels. They're not actually like, you know, like, ah, oh, man, I just decided to create this very well uh, filmed, uh, like, movie over on my YouTube channel. It's mainly like, hey, here's some highlights of my stream, right? And that's okay. But a lot of times, when you go to YouTube, you tend to want to watch, uh, you know, something that's been edited and, like, scripted, maybe, or has some personality behind it that isn't just, like, a rehashed, uh, stream. That's not to say that's bad. I'm just saying most of the time, people, I think, tend to go to YouTube for that, uh, type of content, you know? And then, I think that's why a lot of people actually have highlight channels, so they have, like, oh, like, Here's my Twitch highlights channel, and here's my actual channel. So, uh, I think that's that's a good idea. I always I actually always feel kind of bad when I put up Twitch highlights. I always get people like or Twitch streams because people are like, oh, I missed the stream. I like seeing it on the channel or this thing. But I always I always have this part of me that's like, I just <laughs> I'd rather make a separate channel for that. If you'd be interested in me like making a separate channel for highlights, let me know because I don't know. It's there's part of me that just. It eats away at me, because <laughs> here's the thing. When I made my YouTube channel, right, it was it was kind of my creative outlet. I didn't make it like, let's make some money, guys. Like, a lot of people today are like, yo, we gotta, you know, YouTube's where the money's at, dog. Get that money. Um, like, it was my creative outlet. I wanted to make WoW videos. I was going to make money off it. You couldn't make money back then. Uh, and so I was like, you know, here we go. So I think there's a part of me that just has that, um, you know, that sense of, like, I don't want this to, like, uh, you know, become something. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I I enjoy it more as my my actual creative outlet. And so when I put up things like highlights from Twitch and stuff, it feels like it's tarnishing that uh, creativity a bit. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know. It's <laughs> it's a it might just be a me thing. Either way, let me know. Uh, but uh, why am I getting into this anyway? Uh, mainly because tonight I was gonna stream. And then I was like, oh, you know what? Uh, it's getting too late. I don't want to stream. But there's still part of me that was like, I need to stream. Like, I, I need to stream. I haven't streamed today. Uh, like, I streamed two days in a row, like four hours, three hours. And then I skipped the day to heal my groin. <laughs> don't ask. I've said it and talked about it in multiple videos and streams. Uh, and then I was like, oh, I have to stream today. I didn't stream yesterday. And that it, it kind of clicked to me, right? Like, why do I feel that? Uh, like that sense of like, I need to stream. If I don't stream something, like people are going to stop watching me or something, right? I don't, uh, and I feel like every, every streamer has that. It's the sense that like you have to constantly stream. Um, and if you don't constantly stream, you're going to be forgotten. Like your views are going to go down until the point of like, nobody cares about you anymore. Cause they've moved on to watching other people, right? In your head, you're like, oh, they're not watching me. So now they're watching some other person was on Twitch, and now if you go live at that same time, they'll be like, oh, this other person's on, and they're going to watch that person instead of you. And so I think that's the, that's one of the most negative parts of Twitch, is like, you're constantly on a stage, and if you go off that stage for a while, someone else comes on the stage, and they kind of take your spotlight. Uh, now... That's not to say it's exactly how it happens. I mean, you can go live again and people are like, oh, Krendor's back, go watch him, or whoever they're watching. Um, but that is one of the most negative sides of Twitch is you're constantly an online street performer, right? You're constantly having to, like, do some, some dances or, you know, play the saxophone or 
<laughs> uh, show yourself baking cupcakes in your kitchen or just anything to entertain people, right? You're, you have to be on. Um, and on the flip side, I would say that's one of the best parts about YouTube. What I loved about YouTube was you just, you kind of went at your own pace and sure you'd be like, I got to get a video out tomorrow. Like, um, I guess that could be considered a similar, uh, comparison, but at the same time, it didn't, it doesn't feel as, uh, uh, maybe what's the word? Uh, it doesn't feel as kind of, it doesn't eat away at you as much, right? Like, ah, you know what, I'll upload it like the next day or something, or, uh, it doesn't, there isn't that constant feeling of like, I need to be on, I need to be streaming, I need to be doing that. You're just kind of like, ah, you know what, uh, whatever. It's a little, it's more zen. I think that's one of the things with YouTube is it's a lot more zen. It's a lot more chill. You can sit there editing or filming or doing whatever. You can even watch streams or YouTube videos as you're editing. So, I mean, um, but that also can be a downside because you're, I guess, more lonely, right? Because if you have to sit there editing and filming, doing all this stuff, uh, it's it's probably going to be a lot more lonely for you because you're, you're just sitting there at a computer just doing that over and over and over. <laughs> um, and so, back to Twitch. That's actually one of the good things about Twitch, is when you're live, uh, you can interact with people. So you're like, hey, what's going on? Uh, hey, what's everybody doing in the chat? What's up? It's so, oh, it's, uh, you know, Jimbo45. What up, Jimbo? Oh, man, it's, uh, it's Dice Roller 47 You roll any good rolls today, Dice Roller? And you have, like, that sense of community. Uh, because you can interact with people. Although, there are streamers that are big enough to where the chat is, like, unreadable, which, uh, it, I, I don't know how they stream, because, like, that's half the fun of me streaming, is getting to interact with people that are watching. Um, so I don't know about that. Uh, but, <laughs> uh, I would say it's the, the Twitch is more of, like, that sense of, like, community. It's like, you're just hanging out. Or, like I said, like you're on a stage performing and you're kind of like, Yay, it's the guy, What's what are you doing over there, guy? <laughs> it's like you can interact with people and make jokes and do all that. Um, while with YouTube, uh, you have the comments section, which, uh, I don't know if, uh, I'd, I'd rather, I think I'd rather read Twitch chat than YouTube comments. And I know people watching right now are people that can leave YouTube comments, <laughs> but... YouTube, I think I feel like YouTube comments just feel a little more, um, I don't, I don't know the word, a little more, uh, solidified or thought out. Like, it feels like in Twitch chat, people are just like, hey, what's going on? Right? In, in YouTube, it's like, hmm, like, you're probably going to get one comment for this video, maybe unless you reply to someone else or something. And it feels like when you think about it and someone's like, video sucked ass. It kind, of, it kind of just hits a little harder, especially because with a YouTube video, you've put more effort into it in most situations, especially if it's like a machinima or pointless top, anything that's been like edited or scripted or anything. And then you put that out there like, here's my work of art that I present to you. And someone's like, eh, eh. Well, if it's like me streaming and like that, 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 and someone's like, hey, this stream sucks. You'd be like, all right, <laughs> that, 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 you just keep going. I don't know. Maybe it's a mental thing. Maybe it's like the psychology behind it. But that's that's always what I've found. I I prefer like Twitch chats and stuff like that over YouTube comments. Um, so yeah, that's another thing. <laughs> uh, but I would say one of the one of the big things about both is that you can burn out very easily, right? If you do YouTube to an extreme sense, or if you do Twitch to an extreme sense. It's very easy to burn out because you can kind of just work nonstop, <laughs> right? You have the ability to just nonstop make videos, nonstop edit, nonstop film, nonstop script, nonstop, you know, just keep pumping them out. Uh, and then on the flip side, it'd be like Twitch, like it's 24 hour stream, man, T tomorrow, 12 hour stream. Next day, we're doing 12 hour stream, eight hour stream. Like you can, you can go crazy with both. And so I think a lot of people burn themselves out because... They get too committed to that. It be, it can get very uh, it can get very addicting because you have that sense of like, uh, you know, maybe I'm playing WoW and it's like, well, I could just stream this, right? And, and that always eats away at you too. Like a fact, like I could stream this game, 
You know, while before you were a streamer or YouTuber, you'd be like, oh, I'm just playing a game, relaxing, and having fun. And now you hit that point of like, you feel, you almost feel bad for playing a game or, uh, you know, I mean, yeah, playing a game and not streaming it or making a video out of it. It's, it's a really weird feeling. <laughs> um, so I'd say that's another, uh, another downside, uh, of just both. Um, and I think that's why balance is the key. I think having a nice balance between the two is this, it's, it's the healthiest thing you can do. I would say in terms of growth though, uh, a lot of people say, how do you get big on Twitch or how do you get big on YouTube? I would say it's a lot easier to get big on YouTube. Uh, I've heard a lot of streamers and YouTubers talk about it. Uh, some people say, oh, it's easier to get big on Twitch. So uh, I would definitely say YouTube and here's why. When you make a YouTube video, especially if it's a video you've put work into, right? Maybe you created a video that's like some some interesting facts about uh, World of Warcraft that nobody's seen before. And you post that video. That's, that's very easily shared. All right, and that's the big thing with YouTube is shareability. Someone sees that video, they're like, dude, that's a good video. I'm gonna show my friends this. Like, yo, look at these facts. And they're like, wow, look at these facts. And now we're at the point where, well, it used to be like, oh, I have to, you know, you gotta get on blogs and Reddit and wherever else you share videos, right? And then kind of play the search engine, get to the top. So, you know, let's, let's just say uh, someone searches for, I don't know, Cataclysm trailer. And you make this video called Unreleased Cataclysm trailer. Uh, and then people search and it's like, oh, this video's up at the top. What is this? Click. And then they're like, what is this? This isn't, this isn't unreleased. This is stupid. And then they type, this video sucks ass. Um, <laughs> uh, but you, I think you get my point. While with Twitch, you know, you start up and go live and you have zero viewers. And then you open your own stream and you have one viewer. And then your mom watches it and you have two viewers. And then some guy randomly clicks on your stream and is like, what the shit is this? And you're like, uh, oh, hey, hey, uh, Jimbo45, uh, what's going on? And he's like, okay, and then clicks off the stream, and then you're back down to two viewers, and then your mom goes to sleep, you're back down to one viewer. And so it's like, how do you, how do you grow from that, <laughs> right? And you have to, you have to constantly do that. And I feel like that, that point of I got to constantly be on would even hit harder because you're like, well, now I have to stream more because who knows, I might get a lucky host. Maybe I'll get a couple more people watching me. Um, and I feel like that's just, it's just more difficult, <laughs> right? I feel like that just is more difficult to grow with, um, especially when uh, you have a billion other people trying to stream now. And if someone clicks on you and they're like, this guy is cool, but you know what? Uh, you know, Dodger's streaming. <laughs> so I'm gonna go watch Dodger because I know what to expect. Right, that's that's one of the biggest things is expectations. Uh, you know what you're getting when you go to watch somebody you've already watched. So why would you watch someone new? And when you go to YouTube, you know why you'd watch someone new because they're providing a video that gives you something you haven't experienced before. Whether it's World of Warcraft facts, top pointless top ten things you didn't expect to see in a video, uh, you know, just all these things. But when you go to Twitch, uh, when you when you go to someone new you're kind of risking your own time when you think about it, right? You're saying, I'm risking my time by clicking on this stream that I don't know because I don't know if their mic's going to be good. I don't know if I'm going to like their personality. I don't know if uh, they stream as often as I like watching this. I don't know if they stream at the times I like. There's so many variables. Well, then you can just be like, oh, look, uh, you know, this person's streaming that I like. I know what they are like. I know they have a good mic. I know they play games I like. I'm going to watch them. And I think just from that aspect alone, it's harder to grow on Twitch than it is on YouTube, if that makes sense. I think, like, I think that's a pretty straightforward uh, kind of comparison between the two. I think, like, I don't know. It, it seems clear to me that YouTube's easier to grow on. And then once you grow on YouTube, you can be like, yo, guys, I'm going to do a Twitch stream. And a lot of people be like, oh, hey, I like this guy's videos. I'm going to go watch him on Twitch. And maybe you get, like, you know, it doesn't even, it'd be like 80 viewers. But if you're playing some game just came out, maybe it's not that popular. You're at the top of the list and people follow you. You're up to 100 and you go play something else. You're at 100, you know, it's easier to grow. <laughs> uh, um, so yeah, I would say YouTube's uh, easier to grow on. I also say YouTube 
tends to be more satisfying. Uh, a lot of times when I would make, I guess it depends what you're making on YouTube, but a lot of times when you make a YouTube video and it gets a lot of views, you're like, dude, people really enjoyed this thing that I've created, right? Like I put work and effort into this video and now everyone's sharing it because they really like the video that I made, that I created. While on Twitch, I don't know what it is, but there's something where I, I don't want uh, I actually don't like getting a lot of viewers. Uh, and I know this sounds like crazy to a lot of people. Like, what? Uh, I actually prefer to be around like 500 to 1,000 viewers. I know like to something like, like, I'd love to be at 100, let alone that. But I've noticed when you go above 1,000, because I've gotten like front page, I've been on the front page before, I've gotten hosts, I've gotten a bunch of stuff. It becomes chaotic. And it almost becomes like, you almost become like a, a substitute teacher or like a teacher trying to keep a classroom calm. <laughs> like it's like babysitting almost. Like you, like people who start spamming shit like blah, 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 and like ever someone's like uh, I hate this guy or like someone's like start the start the copy pasta the memes blah 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 and it's almost like hey Jimmy put that down Ricky what the sh hey you you d d d ban that guy oh, time that day hey, time someone time that mods where. <laughs> Where are my assistant teachers at? Someone, hey, get that kid in the principal's office. It, it feels like that. And I think when you stay at that nice middle ground, you know, you're not too small, you're not too big. You know, it's, it's, I think it's nice, <laughs> right? You can interact with chat. You can interact with people. Occasionally you get some guy that comes in, you got like timeout or ban or whatever, but it's nowhere near the, the amount that bigger streams get. I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just, uh, you know. Maybe I'm just crazy or something, but that's what I prefer. Well, with a video, you know, if a video gets like a million, five million, ten million views, you're like, great, right? Like, maybe you get some mean comments, but I don't know. <laughs> a mean comment on a video filled with, uh, here's the thing. If a, if a video is very well liked and very well uh, kind of accepted by a lot of people and shared and everything, like, you're gonna get, you know, if it's got like a million views on it, you're gonna get some comments that are like, eh, this is whatever. Or like some dumb comments or dislikes. Like, that's just natural. But, um, for the most part, you're gonna get a lot of positive feedback. And a lot of the positive comments are at the top. So as long as you don't scroll to the bottom, <laughs> you know, you're, you save your mental sanity. I'd always make the mistake of being on like Reddit's or my own videos or something. Or someone else's videos that I've participated in in a collaboration video. And I'd read a lot of the comments, be like, yeah, nice, okay. And then I was like, do I want to scroll down? And I'd be like, I shouldn't scroll down. It's going to ruin my day. Then you just scroll down a bit. And then you get that guy who's like, wow, Kranzer is stupid as shit. I hate that guy. And then you're like, why'd I do it? <laughs> why'd I do it? You know, you knew you knew it was coming. And then, bam, right there, it's, it's, it's right, you, you, whatever. Um... You get my point. Uh, <laughs> so I guess, uh, I guess the the whole point is this video has been all over the place, but I've kind of I've kind of bounced back and forth between what I like and dislike about both platforms. Um, but one of the big things with Twitch though is that it's very nice to be able to just kind of, um, I think it's easier to make let's plays and play new games on Twitch, right? With with Let's Plays on YouTube, it'd be like, here we go, guys. Wild leveling episode 500. Let's go. And I think Let's Plays and those types of videos are a lot easier to do on Twitch, right? Because if you want to make a giant video series about something like wild leveling, uh, you have to make the video, you got to render the video, you got to upload the video. And you gotta kind of like space it out so that you don't have people watching one part and then they're like, oh, the next part got uploaded and then they fall behind or people get a, I don't know. It kind of is more chaotic. Well, on Twitch, you just play for like eight hours uh, and then be like, hey guys. I mean, that's what I did. Classic WoW. I literally streamed like eight, nine, ten hours a day just leveling. And it was great. And people would be like, Krendor, well, you don't level as fast on YouTube with your WoW leveling. Why are you leveling as fast in Classic WoW? Streaming it. And I was like, because I'm streaming it. <laughs> right? I don't have to stop and be like, all right, now we process, render. All right, I'll record another one tomorrow. I literally just, I just play. And if you want to watch, you watch. If you don't, you don't. And maybe you can click the VOD later and watch that if you want to watch it. So for playing Let's Plays, I, I think Twitch is far superior. But... 
the the big thing YouTube has is like I said, it's kind of that bite-sized entertainment. It's kind of that you know, you put more effort into YouTube, and the the video is shorter typically. This one's already like 20 minutes. Um, but even then, that's, you know, compared to a live stream, like a short live stream would be an hour, right? Maybe two hours. Like a short live stream is one to two hours, while a short video is probably like five-ish minutes, maybe 10. Uh, 10 is about an average YouTube video. People want those two ads to run. <laughs> um, but uh, you, you kind of get what I'm saying? Like YouTube, uh, and this is just from my own personal experience too. Like when I, sometimes I'll just want to watch a stream. It's like a background noise thing. I'll be like, oh, I'm playing a game or working or doing whatever. Uh, I'm just going to put on a stream and just let it play and whatever. But with a YouTube video, I'm like, all right, I want to watch a video. And typically when I watch a video, my attention is fully on that video or like a good chunk of my attention is on that video. Um, and so I think... That's a, that's just another difference between the two mediums is Twitch is more like of a long-term uh, commitment and then YouTube's more of a like, eh, I'll just watch a video and then maybe do something else. But I mean, you, yeah, you can also watch videos as you do stuff, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, at the end, <laughs> as we wrap up this video, I don't know, but uh, I, hopefully you've, you've kind of gained something from hearing my rambles between the two. Um, and this all just started because my brain was like, I have to stream the night. And then I was like, why do I have to stream the night? And then I was like, why do I feel the need to stream the night? What if I just stream like five hours tomorrow? And then I was like, but what if I stream two hours? Th and then I was like, I want to make a video about this and just ramble and see what comes out. And, uh, now you've heard what comes out. <laughs> so hopefully you got something out of this, uh, this rambling. And, uh, you know, I kind of just wanted to give my opinion on everything. So. Thanks for listening. Uh, if you're new here, click the uh, subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified when I upload videos. Uh, if you missed a couple of my other videos, I've been playing Paper Mario. That's been up on the channel. Uh, I've also put up a video of me watching my old machinimas and reacting to them and kind of directors commentarying them. That'll be up here. Uh, you can click on it and then probably just some other video you can watch. I made a video about WoW's uh, subscriber numbers. So you can check that out too. Uh, but either way, if you want to hear me ramble more about Twitch and YouTube or something, give me some, like, stuff to ramble on, because I, I love rambling. I've hit the point where I used to be like, ah, I don't know if I want to ramble and stuff, and I used to do it with my World of Crendors and everything, but now nah, I feel like I've hit, like, young old man tier, where I'm like, let me tell you <laughs> about what I think on this thing. So, if you want to hear some more things, if you want to hear more, like, Twitch and YouTube stuff, uh, let me know if you want me to talk about even just burnout because you know, I was actually watching the uh, There's the the twitch streamer like healthy gamer GG and this therapist dude from Harvard like talks to all these streamers and youtubers uh, about like all these issues and Everyone's like wow. This is really interesting. Just hearing like, you know, people go through anxiety depression stress burnout, so I mean uh, I just it it kind of inspired me to just have like real talks you know what I'm saying? So I'd love to do one on just burnouts because I've burned out so many times. I don't know if you can tell by the ups and downs of my YouTube and Twitch and everything, but uh, let me know on things you uh, you kind of want me to ramble about and uh, we'll see what I can do. This is pretty much like Truth Rage. When I started Truth Rage like 11 years ago, uh, is you know, this is this has become me. I've, I've come full circle. I'm just Truth Raging in long formats. Uh, so, all right, I'm just going to stop. Thank you for listening. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Okay? Okay. See ya!